much gender equality everything has been going on recently, so I decided I'd make a video of what I'd like to say about all of these everythings. It's kind of going to be a messy video, but whatevs. Here goes. Number one, regarding the leaked nude celebrity photos. The first thing people usually say when they see or hear about a celebrity's nude photos getting leaked is, why would they even take nude photos in the first place? Okay, there is nothing wrong with taking nude photos of yourself. What's wrong here is that somebody would violate these people's privacies, take something very personal to them, and share it on the internet where everyone can see it. That's, that's f***ed up. Which now makes me want to talk about victim blaming. Why do people do this? Why do people outside of an incident like this like to blame the victim? Your nude photos were leaked on the internet? Well, why'd she take nude photos in the first place? Strangers whistle at her in the street and try to grab her butt? Well, it's her fault for wearing tight clothes. Oh, she was raped? Well, she was wearing really nice makeup and a really short skirt. Who wouldn't want to rape that? Well, you know what? Instead of blaming a girl for doing what she wants or for dressing the way she wants to dress, why not teach people how to respect their fellow human beings? Or, I don't know, educate people on how to properly identify who the real offenders here are. I should be allowed to wear a mini skirt or short shorts and high heels or a full face of makeup if I want to. I should be allowed to take whatever photos I want of myself, whether I'm fully clothed, wearing a bathing suit, or completely naked. I should be allowed to say what I want and do what I want. And I should be allowed to do whatever the hell I want with my own body. I want to live in a world where every girl, every woman, can feel comfortable in her own body and present herself however the hell she wants without the fear of being violated. <sighs> Moving on. Number two, this shirt. I heard that this shirt was being sold at SM department stores in the Philippines, and it... It just made me so angry. First of all, SM, this is not funny, this is not cute, and it's not okay. It's disgusting, and it's infuriating, and it's just... wrong. Whoever came up with the idea of this shirt, whoever allowed it to be mass-produced, Whoever allowed it to be put up on the shelves to be sold to teenage boys are all pathetic, misogynistic, stupid little sh and they should be ashamed of themselves. As of two days ago, however, SM has announced that the shirts have been pulled from all their shelves, so... Yes. Still very wrong, though. Number three. Sam. Freaking. Pepper. A fellow YouTuber. He's done a lot of social experiments. Social experiments. Which have, in the past, kind of made me dislike him more than a little bit. But I'll admit that some of his videos are funny. One of his latest videos, though, was of him pinching the butts of random girls on the streets. But his video has recently been deleted by YouTube. But he recently posted another video saying that the whole thing was scripted and that it should go without saying that it's not okay to be going out into the streets and pinching the butts of strangers. And that he made that video because he wanted to raise awareness for male sexual harassment. Wait, what? So you're telling me that you posted a video of yourself sexually harassing women. So you could tell everybody two videos later that sexual harassment is not okay. I don't know though, in my opinion, whether or not it was scripted is kind of irrelevant. Because why would you do that? Also, if he genuinely thinks that things like this are not okay, then what makes him think that his other videos were okay? Not gonna dig deeper into this because it's kind of stupid, so... Number four. This one is not a rant. Emma Watson's UN speech for he for she. I have so much respect for Emma Watson. And if you haven't yet, please go watch her video and listen to her speech. It's not exactly anything that hasn't already been said hundreds of times by everybody regarding feminism and gender equality, but it definitely sums everything up and anyone who wants a crash course on feminism and gender equality or just anybody who wants to be inspired should definitely go check out this video. 
Or if you're neither of the two, then go watch it anyway because it's Emma freaking Watson and why would you not want to watch that? And if you're done watching that, go to the website of he for she and go join the movement. The link will be up here if you can click on that, or if you're on your phone and you can't click on that, then I'll have a link down in the doobly-doo with everything else that's important. So yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys next week, hopefully. Don't forget to be awesome!